Hello, my name is Lee Ware and I'd like to introduce you to creating a chatbot. So the first steps in creating a chatbot is understanding what kind of information we need to collect and what we need to do. So we'll see. Basically the user is going to have two types of interactions, pretend she's going to be writing in text or speaking in voice. So we need some form of input-output situation for our artificial intelligence or chatbot to communicate with. And this thing needs to have, uh, basically the GUI needs to have speech integration, some form of text input, maybe some even some user scripting so the user can add some personal scripts. Maybe some form of knowledge base or personality editor so to edit its little brain and some little scripts. Responses will be generated and received by this brain here, which could be comprised of detectors, responders, some system commands, maybe question and answer type brains, maybe it will have a personality, maybe it will request information, maybe it will have an emotional state. It needs to have process to retrieve information from its brain, for instance. It might have a brain which is just consistent of questions and answers, just like Jeopardy. Um, might have a database of pure conversions of different phrase databases from language. It might have a knowledge base where you could say a cat is a mammal. Um, and it might have something like keywords and detectors. So if it detects the word happy, it would take the emotion happy or have the sentiment of happy. So when we're building this chatbot, we need to think about the four main elements, which are input text, yeah, the place where we can input and output text, um, a button to send on the information, an output text to display the information, maybe even a character avatar. Okay. So we've decided to build inside of Visual Studio. I personally like to use Visual Basic but it is basic and there's nothing better than working in the basics. I hope you've got that. Um, so basically, we'll start with a basic little square form of an output box, an input box, and an enter button. That's the three main elements. Right, we'll take a little look at the code. Basically, it's all event driven, so if we double click enter, it will take us straight into our button, the button enter click. So basically we're going to look to process the input first, the user input. So we've set up a string in this class basically, the first form class called user input. So all information should go into user input in the beginning. We'll get to expand that later on, but in the very beginning we just want to input output going on. So our first thing we'll do is process the input text. So we collect that into user input, get user input, user input, and then clear the box to be text user input text. Fine. Um, same thing with output text. As new text comes in, we set output text. Pretty, pretty basic. Uh, so what even and what I leave, what I've even done is on the output scenario, we've even got a situation for the response. So we have a class called get response, which we've made quite easy. And from this, we've decided that as we feed it the user input, we want to retrieve the response. Quite simple. And our first little check, which I have inside, is check for blank input. So if the user does not enter anything, we would like it to enter something. And let's not process that text. So I've put a little boolean here. Boolean if a response is found is true, then pop out if not false. So basically check user input. Quite easy. Functionality. If some text is equal to blank, then is blank. So check blank is obviously true. If not it's obviously got something in it. So we would turn back that information to check blank into the get response. So if check blank user input is blank true, then tell it to input some text that the response is found else, response found false. I find this little scenario here, response found and response not found, is useful for when we have a long string of, of text 
cases. And down here would say if response found, then return out the checks. Which makes a lot more sense. So we'll have a little look at this to see how it functions. But da -da 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 -da. And all we're going to do is say hello, enter. And at the moment, I've just had the text returning back to us hello. Um, how are you? We'll check you. Yeah, it looks like it's talking to us. But actually, please enter some text. So if I press enter, please enter some text. Pretty easy. Um, the next lessons we should be getting towards putting functionality into this AI chat window. Thank you for watching. Please refer to the next video in the series.